We welcome you to Noche Enabia here on 2K Sports. From the attire to the food, the players' jerseys, tonight, a celebration of the Latin culture. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony, and with us from the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. All right, a chance to check out stats for Stephen Curry. And guys, he's regressed a little bit offensively. He hasn't been the same this month as he was earlier in the season. He's lacking the edge that he had, and he needs to change his mindset. Stop sitting back and get into attack mode. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. In the backcourt, it's Curry and Thompson. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Wiggins, and it's Green in at the five spot. And for Miami, Robinson on the wing. He's joined by Butler. Then there's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Highsmith in at the four-man position. So this is the first of two games, Greg, that these teams will play in a row. One after the other. Very tough. And, you know, Kevin, I find these little mini-series really interesting. That you get to see how teams react to one another and see how they adjust, much like you do in the postseason. Now, Adebayo. Adebayo with a screen for Butler. Inside. And Adebayo with the basket on the assist by Butler. Oh, nice pass by Butler. He can be tricky to defend because he can take the shot or give it up just as easily. Curry against Rogier. Green with a screen on Rogier. Curry outside. Rebound by the Heat. Butler deciding where to go with it. Passes it to Rozier. Here's Adebayo. Six on the shot clock. Green with the rebound. Pass to Wiggins. First quarter just over a minute played. Green kicks to Curry. Another miss by Curry. Oh, man, that's tough. That's definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. Robinson passes to Rozier. Wants to get it to Adebayo and does. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Green with the ball. Now defended by Adebayo. And there's the bucket from Kaminga. Something he's worked on over the years. Green is an elite passer. For Miami, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Adebayo with a screen for Rozier. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Kaminga, no good. Okay, it's taking them a moment to find their rhythm, opening the game with some uneven one-for-four shooting. Here's Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. And once Rozier spots that hole in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate, just sends the ball to an open shooter. So when we're talking about team identity, uh, Greg, what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough-nosed, aggressive, and hard-working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place. And that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. That's his first foul. First team foul. Rozier against Curry. Here's the teardrop. A way better defender than he gets credit for. Steph Curry. Off the mark. His first miss of the game. One for two. Thompson from long range. And Rozier pulls it down. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here's Butler. He had 15 points last out. Another shot, and it's laid in by Rozier. Rozier's got five now. 
Yeah, and we continue to see Rozier taking on more responsibility offensively. Nice finish inside. Green with a screen on Rozier. And the three ball is good. And that makes it a tie ball game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Gets it to go. That one good from Autobio. He's got six. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Curry passes to Green. Here's Curry coming off 31 points last game. To the middle. And Thompson gets it to go in on the assist by Kaminga. Clay can get it done inside too. His role on this team is to score. And here is Rogier. Last game out, he had 14. Here's Autobio. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. They get Stephen Curry. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. First trip to the line for him here. He's knocked down three quarters of his foul shots this season. So he's right around 75%. throw good out of bio and Richard for the Warriors a number of future Hall of Famers playing a part but Stephen Curry we all know this is the center of it all he's the greatest shooter ever Kev we all know that but I when people say that he changed the game a lot of times I like to give credit to the entire team having Clay Thompson helps Steph be Steph and having Draymond Green with that defense and his passing ability helps Steph game go to another level and that one goes in. Two from the line that time. RJ, the Warriors' dominance of this era has put them among the best franchises of all time. Yes, I would completely agree with that. No one comes close to the Lakers and Celtics, though, Kevin. The Warriors, after the Spurs, I think the Spurs are three. But the Warriors and the Bulls, because they had two dominant eras, and not much really before, and not much really after. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Golden State Warriors. Wiggins right side. Thompson passes to Green. Six to shoot. Kaminga kicks to Thompson. The shake. It's Autobio with the rebound. For Miami, they've gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Pass to Robinson. Here's Highsmith. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Now here's Curry. Six points for him. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. Well, good with the triple. The Heat with the lead. Rozier with the ball. There's the pass to Autobio. Good on the bucket. Autobio's got 10. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Thompson finds Curry. Green with a screen on Rozier. And yes, records are made to be broken. But RJ made three-point shots. My goodness, Curry is so far ahead of everyone else. Yeah, to me, it comes down to longevity. LeBron passed Kareem on all-time scoring list, so anything is possible. But it's hard to pass Steph because he's just going to keep Take going. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Think about the impact that Steph has had on this game. Him and his team have changed the way the game is played. They have ushered in the three-point error. And 
And so he makes both from the line. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Rozier, the pass to Autobio. Autobio with this screen on top. Robinson for three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Curry dishes to Thompson. Curry, a screen on Robinson. Back to Curry. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Over Butler. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins has got it all tied up now for the Warriors. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. Robinson against Thompson. It's Robinson high post. Hasn't made one yet. Rozier the pass to Autobahn. Draymond Green pulls it in. The Warriors have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Now here's Curry. Eight points for him to the paint. Intercepted. Pull up jumper. And Butler gets it to go on the assist by Rozier. Rozier's got his third assist on the night. Rozier against Curry. There's the triple. It's hauled in by the Heat. Out of my has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Rozier looking around. Pass to Autobio. Over Green. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Back to Thompson. Outside Curry. Golden State moving it around. From downtown, nailed from three-point land. Curry's got 11 points. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Butler against Wiggins. Butler passes to Autobahn. And the basket is good. And 12 points for Bam Adebayo. Man, terrific to see Adebayo putting up big numbers. He's continuing to grow as a scorer. Pass to Thompson. Higgins outside. Kicks to Curry. Green with a screen on Rozier. Curry wide open. Another three for Golden State. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. UK leaderboard, a list of the teams that have rebounded the ball tremendously over the last 10 games. Number five, the Warriors. What a show of strength in terms of rebounding. I mean, they've really controlled the glass here of late, playing with some extreme physicality. Back to right. Dishes it to Martin. Lock at six. Pass to Autobio. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. They are just killing him on the interior. He's gone two for two at the line so far. First personal foul. Third team foul. Now at the line, Bam Adebayo. One. And you watch Adebayo, he really has everything you could ask for from that 4-5 position. Not a stretch big, per se, and that's partly why he shoots such a high percentage. Now, here's Curry. He's got 14 to the inside. Green kicks to Curry. 
Green with a screen for Curry. Jacks up a three. Another three for Golden State. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. Here's Heisman. His last outing, he had 18 points. Back to right. Adebayo with a screen on Paul. Wright finds Adebayo. Basket good. Adebayo's got the game tied up here for Miami. This is how Adebayo typically gets his points. Off the roll, off the lob, or off the glass. It's Curry outside. He's off on that one. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. The pass to right. Here's Heisman from outside the arc. Draymond Green pulls it in. Green's got five rebounds tonight. Passes to Paul. Left side Curry. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. Better get your attention. And that's his second foul committed with a lot of game left. You gotta be careful. Look at Miami. They took their win in their last game against Cleveland. And that one was all about offensive execution. Running your plays, picking your spots. And no team is going to shoot 50% every night, but this team has the right approach. When the shots are falling, they can light it up. And that one's good. Right. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now, here's Looney. He has yet to score. Outside curve. With the putback. It's good on the putback. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? It's right on the wing. There's a good screen over Paul. And no good on the last second attempt this time. Guys, Bam Adebayo getting it done for the Miami Heat. Scoring, rebounding. He was all over the place during that quarter. They are writing his performance right now. We've got more in store for you right after this. Welcome you back to Noche Latina. Becoming an annual tradition is always here on 2K Sports and always exciting. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Miami, guys. Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge, too. Golden State's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Setting the floor for the Warriors. They're going to go small with Paul, and Curry is the guard pair. Kevon Looney out there with Sharch. And it's Pajemski in at the three slot. Curry outside. A shot. No good. And after that great first quarter from three-point range, he has finally come back to earth. Curry against Butler. Outside, Martin. Down low. And Jovic gets it to go. Jovic has got his first points in this one. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Pass to Pajemski. Pass to Looney. Over in the corner, Paul knocks down the three ball. Paul's got himself on the board with three there. 
Oh, nice shot by Paul. Looked good when it left his hand. Butler against Curry. Here's Martin, and finished off by Martin. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Now here's Paul. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. And DeLon Wright gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Here's Pajemski. No scoring in this one. It's good. The way the league is now, Greg, on any given night, we sometimes see a team fall flat. Is it just luck of the draw? Sometimes players are tired, and sometimes they relax. You know, this is why leadership is so vital. Setting that standard for others to follow. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, GA? Thanks very much, guys. Now, culture is thrown around a lot in the NBA, but the Warriors team has it in spades, and Kevon Looney says the way we play is the way the locker room is. It's fast, loose, and disciplined. As long as you work, you're able to enjoy what you're doing. Everyone has input, and I think the biggest thing with our culture is we always talk about playing with joy. Kevin? And they do. Love it, David. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Robinson's checked in for the Heat. Rogier comes in for DeLon Wright. First personal foul. First team foul. Now at the line. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Paul looking around. Outside Curry. Three pointer. And it's Miami with the rebound. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. That's a second, and I think they'll keep him in. He's got to be careful. A third, and he'll sit for the rest of the half. Good ball movement here by the Heat. The pass to Butler. To the paint. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. Everything's within Curry's range. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Martin with a screen on Curry. Robinson kicks to Rozier. Back to Robinson. Shot clock at six. Butler on the way. Over Wiggins. Butler, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Passes it to Kirk. From deep. Connects again from distance. Well, we expected him to come in firing. It's just another three-point barrage. What a phenomenal run it's been for him. Nearing fifth on the list of most triples in a season. Yep, I mean, Steph Curry nailed, what, 324 threes back in 2017. So that's the mark in jeopardy. We'll see if the march forward can continue. Here's Paul. Jimmy Butler making his last shot. And RJ, don't you feel like the leadership of Chris Paul still will play a factor? No matter who his teammates are at any given moment, there's no question who's running the show. Paul knows how to make any five-man group look like a cohesive unit, Greg. Now, here's Rogier, following the shot by Chris Paul. Puts up a deep three. It's rebounded by Kaminga. 
and it's Paul with the ball for Golden State coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Yeah, they made some spectacular plays in it right to the very end. Just couldn't get over the hump. And that is why coaches preach about the details. The margins in this league are razor thin. Now here's Curry following the shot by Chris Paul. Step Curry's shot through. is good. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And, of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. Now here is Robinson. Scoreless thus far. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Rozier against Paul. Foster looting. The dish to Paul. Now here's Kaminga. He's tightly guarded. Curry can't get it to go. For Miami, they've gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Now Rozier. Seven points in the game. Pass to Hawkes. They double him with Wiggins. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Fires from way outside. Miami grabs the miss. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Curry against Butler. And he drives in. Rozier the pass to Martin. Wants to get it to Butler and does. Robinson for three. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got his sixth assist on the night. After failing to knock down anything from deep in the first quarter, he's got two to go here in the second. Now here's Paul. Outside Curry. The three. And the rebound goes to Martin. Martin's got four rebounds now tonight. Rozier against Paul. Here's Hawkins. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Wiggins surveying the floor. The pass to Looney. Rozier against Wiggins. They could use a bucket. Takes it off the glass. Wiggins has got seven points. Oh, get off of that, man. Wiggins is that dude. Robinson against Curry. Martin with a screen on Curry. Robinson for three. It's rebounded by Kaminga. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And a look here at the passing numbers over the last several months for Terry Rozier. He hasn't been nearly as effective a passer these past few months. And, and that's unfortunate because when he's passing it well and the assists are coming, he is a much more complete player. It's something he has to be thinking about. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And some changes here for the Warriors. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Kavon Looney. And it's Thompson in for Chris Paul. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Miami's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Robinson passes to Rozier. Shot on the wing. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's got six rebounds here tonight. Thompson dishes to Curry. He kicks it to Kaminga. Back to Curry. Six on the shot clock. Virtually unstoppable, Curry gets through. Talk about putting a team on your back. He has been dominant this quarter, and I don't think they are winning without him. Adebayo with a screen for Rozier. And Adebayo throws it down. Now using good court recognition there, Rozier able to make the right play out of that pick and roll. 
And here is Curry. 30 points in the game. To the middle. Green. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Well, just a good job here in the second. Pounding it inside, getting good looks right at the basket. Big reason why they're in front. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Warriors. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And also have to bring up their passing game. They, they've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. Free throw good, Green. Talking about the grizzled veteran, Draymond Green, still such an important player in this game. Yeah, it's just because he's so unique. He doesn't look to score very often. His main focus continues to be on defense and his playmaking ability. Here's Heisman. The Warriors pull it in. Paul with the ball. Kicks it to Green. He dishes it to Wiggins. Passes it to Thompson. Shoots the three. Good! Thompson makes it look so easy. What poise from Thompson. Not allowing for any distractions from his shot. Adebayo with a screen on Wiggins. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The Heat have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. And they've shot the ball well this season and, and in terms of their attempts. 81%. And the first one drops. And Miami making a change here. Butler's checked in. And the Warriors also making a change. Curry's checked in for Paul. So he hits one of two from the strike. And here's Golden State. They're on a 12-3 run. Here's Curry. Stolen by Robinson. Inside and stolen by Wiggins. On the wing, Thompson. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Thompson's got six in the quarter. Whenever the ball leaves Clay's hands, it is the same every single time. You always feel like it's going in. He's that good of a shooter. Butler, no good. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Here's Curry. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be fall. Rozier for three. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. Warriors leading by nine. And Wiggins is fantastic at attracting contact. Such a savvy veteran. Team foul number four. The Warriors shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts. Right around 78%. Shooting two. Free throw good, Wiggins. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And the Heat making a change here. Highsmith has checked in. He doesn't get the second one. What I appreciate about Wiggins is that he doesn't force anything. He just lets the game come to him naturally. Butler kicks to Rozier. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first half. Robinson for three. Good, and Butler gets the assist. 
Butler's got his seventh assist in the game. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. RJ and he had to choose someone to take the last shot in the big game. Clay Thompson, I'm assuming, is right up there. Oh, Kev, Clay Thompson would be my number one. He plays with an even temperature. His facial expressions never change. He's never too high, never too low. And look, Find we've obviously Find seen that he can knock Let's down stop. any shot at any time. On the free throw, no good. You love Thompson's dedication to the game. He's dealt with some tough injuries, but he never stopped looking ahead. Always focused on making his return to the court. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Higgins outside. Green with a screen for Wiggins. Over Butler. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. His decision-making is so solid. Wiggins runs the pick-and-roll with precision. Butler against Wiggins. Now, here's Butler. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21.5 points a game. To the inside, here's Highsmith. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Highsmith got his second bucket of the night. And so it's the Golden State Warriors bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And the three-point shot has been big for him. And Jeff's now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Steve. A good rhythm for you in the first half. What do you like most about how your team's competing? Just like the ball movement, you know, the drive and kick. Our guys have played really well together. Uh, just trying to move the ball, get a great shot. We'll see if he can keep the ball flying around as we continue. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Hey, folks. First off, let's take a look at the overall NBA schedule on tap for tonight. The Raptors out in Toronto will go up against the Nets. 7.30 Eastern for the tip-off in that one. Should be a close game, considering how close these teams are. And considering that both badly want to win. Moving on, in that first half of basketball, things are looking pretty good for the Warriors. They look like they attended the shooting school of Dr. Onilovich. Great touch from the perimeter. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm not exactly sure that school is accredited, Shaq. We'll have uh, somebody from research check it out. I know there's not a free throw academy. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. happy you could join us we've got two quarters left to go in regulation really an incredible game from Stephen Curry and how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters he has been terrific he always wants to be a go-to guy for them I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half Robinson on the wing he's joined by Butler then it's Bam Adebayo then there's Terry Rozier and it's Highsmith in at the four spot. That's the group on the four for Miami. I like when Green looks to score. He's good at putting defenses in a bind. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. He's knocked down three quarters of his foul shots this season, so he's right around 75%. Free throw good green what I appreciate most about green is his leadership strong vocally on and off the floor oh, 
and both free throws good for Green. The Heat trail by nine. Right side, Butler. Again, the Heat, good for two. Butler is smart and knows to take what you give him. If the mid-range is open, he'll take it. Pass to Green. Golden State moving it around. On the wing, Wiggins. Thompson looking for an opening. And he's good on the three ball. Yeah, clearly a defensive lapse there. He is automatic from deep if you're going to leave him that wide open. Big time mistake. Now, here's Rogier. Adebayo finds Butler. Back to Adebayo. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. I like watching Adebayo operate inside. He is so efficient down low. Wiggins against Butler. Wiggins passes to Green. Rozier against Curry. And Rozier, here we go. Outside Robinson. Here's Butler over Thompson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Thompson. And look at Butler playing tricks. Using that pump fake move to great effect. This is his first free throw of the game. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. First one falls for him. A highly talented two-way player. Butler is also known for his tough-nosed approach to the game. And so Butler nails both of them. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Steph Curry has changed the game, but he's going to be hard to emulate. Steve Kerr says he has maybe the best hand-eye coordination in the world. The coach is not bad in his own right as the career leader in three-point percentage. But in their free throw competitions, Steve says he swishes everything. The guy's annoying. I can't beat him. Kevin? <laughs> All right, David. Thank you. <laughs> and the Warriors miss again. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Trailing by four. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Thompson outside. Over Rozier. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. A rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. They set the pick. Lock at six. The Heat need to get a shot off. A three-pointer off the mark. Look, when you've made your first three shots of the half, I think it's okay for a heat check. There's Kaminga. And he can't stop this drop. Another miss. Robinson dishes to Butler. Pass to Autobayer. Adebayo with the screen on Thompson. Rogier for three. And Adebayo throws it down. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Things are firing on all cylinders for them right now. We'll see if they can keep it going. Now, here's Curry. 30 points in the game. The three ball from Curry. I mean, the range is just unreal. Curry can make even the toughest shots look easy. Rozier kicks to Adebayo. Now the pass to Robinson. Outside Butler. Adebayo with the screen on Wiggins. It's stolen by Green. On the wing, Thompson. It's three pointers off the mark. The Heat trail by five. 
Outside Butler. Rozier with a screen for Butler. He takes it in. The three. And it's Rozier missing. The Warriors have gone two to seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements. Murray finds Wiggins. Some nice passing by Golden State. Kaminga the pass to Thompson. It's good from long range. Thompson's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Warriors. Dishes at the Butler. Iman Green with the rebound. Green's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Now Kerr, 33 points for him. Here's Wiggins, takes the elbow jumper and drains it. And it's a 10-point Warrior lead. This is where Wiggins can be really effective. His mid-range game can really do some damage. Rozier kicks to Robinson. Out of bio, high post. Here's Highsmith. That one rolling around and runs out. Well, some trips you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. Butler against Wiggins. Thompson for three. And it's Miami with the rebound. Robinson passes to Butler. Back to Robinson. Passes it to Rogier. Back to Robinson. Over Thompson. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Robinson. The Warriors have gone a somewhat so far 4 of 10 on their shots in the second half so far. We always see Terry Rozier going all out, don't we, Greg, to make an impact offensively. Kevin, I just love the way his offensive repertoire has evolved over the years. This guy came in as just a hard-nosed, tough defender, but boy, offensively, his skill set and development on that end is off the chart. Here's Rozier following the basket by Andrew Wiggins. The shot by Autobio, no good. Wiggins kicks to Thompson. That falls. Ice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got five assists in the game. And here are the Heat now. It's a 13-point game. Pass to Autobio. Robinson drives in, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Thompson. No question, he got bumped on that shot. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Warriors. The name of the game in the modern NBA is making threes. Space in the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. And also, they took advantage of their quickness, got inside and blew through the open lanes. Great job of attacking the paint. That one is off. Ball checked in for Curry. And he's good on the second. All right, Richard, with the game on the line, which current player would you choose taking the last shot? You can't go wrong with Dane time. KD is up there, too, because he can get his shot off from anywhere. But you give me one shot, I'm going to say Clay Thompson. Rozier with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. Here's Rozier. He's got seven. Autobio with a screen on Wiggins. Rozier the pass to Autobio. Good work there as it goes. Autobio's got six in the quarter. This is one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an odd feeling. Paul kicks to Wiggins. Outside, Green. Green with a screen on Robinson. 
Thompson misses. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Rozier against Paul. Looks it up for Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. With strong athleticism, Adebayo can finish just about any lob with his large catch rate. Rozier against Paul. Paul is screen on Robinson. Back to Paul. Trying to find Green. He's got it now. Thompson outside. Launches a three. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. Thompson's got 12 points in just the second half. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taken advantage of a really tired defense. Rozier the pass to Hawkins. To the paint. And Adebayo throws it down. And this is too easy for Adebayo. Once he's close to the rim, he is going to damage it. Thompson is double. The dish to green. Some nice passing by Golden Stadium. Ball against Rogier. Wiggins inside the line. Cans the shot from the wing. 16 points for Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins is on a tear. He's just getting whatever shot he wants right now. Robinson passes to Rogier. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Rogier's got nine. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Ball passes to Thompson. No good from outside. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Outside Robinson. Back to Rogier. To Highsmith for three. That's good. And it's Rogier with the assist. Rogier's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Now here's Paul. He kicks it to Green. 58 seconds left to play in the third. Thompson. Thompson hammers it down. And when he gets hot, Clay can take over. Who can forget you not remember the 37-point quarter? Here's Adebayo. Second shot opportunity. He lays it in. Adebayo's got 12 points here in the second half. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work in the glass. You literally practice that every day. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. You aren't exaggerating. You don't get to 20 rebounds without having a special talent for grabbing misses. Warriors leading by six. And there's the pass to Kaminga. Passes to Wiggins. Thompson sets the pick for Wiggins. Over Robinson. Thompson for three. And it is good at the buzzer. Wow. And they will go into the fourth quarter riding high. That's almost got a feel to them. The third quarter comes to a close. Warriors lead by nine. Live from Miami, you're watching 2K Sports. Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. All right, great pace, great energy. Keep throwing the ball ahead. You guys are just making the simple pass. That's good stuff. Urging his team quite clearly to keep pushing the break. And Kevin, Coach Kerr loves the energy right now. He's all about having the pace in his favor. 
And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter on the court for Golden State here in the fourth. Running the wings, they'll go with Curry and Thompson. In the post, you'll see Wiggins and Looney. And it's Paul in at point guard. Here's Curry, following the score by Miami. Pass to Thompson from the arc. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Thompson's got 30. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Inside. Hook shot. Counted, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to eight on the bucket from Butler. And he's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Paul kicks to Curry. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Thompson outside. That three off the mark. Miami's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. And here is Butler. Martin with it to the middle. Here's Jovic. And Looney sends it back. Pass to Paul. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Thompson outside from past the arc. Looney. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Warriors lead by 10. He'll be around the rim. Defense has always got to know his whereabouts. Martin with a screen on Kirk. Outside for Martin. There's the three. Good on the triple. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Now here's Paul. Thompson outside. Now, here's Looney. Guarded close. Over to the wing. Ball passes to Looney. Here's Jaquez. The feed to Martin. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And the Heat making a change here. Highsmith is checked in. Warriors leading by seven. It's Curry outside. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Here's Jaquez. And the pass to right. Here's Butler, guarded by Curry. Here's Heisman. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Now, just a four-point Warrior lead. And that's his game. Ignore the D. Focus on what you do and knock down that triple. Paul dishes to Green. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. We'll take it. Smith shot is off. And I thought that was going to draw. It looked good from here. Now here's Curry. Back to Green. Pass to Pajemski. Just five to shoot. And there it is for him. And now it's an eight-point Warrior lead. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now here's Butler. There's the pick. This is it to Highsmith. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, the defender all over. First team foul. Now at the line, Hayward Heisman. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Big deal. 
That one misses, so he goes one for two. Warriors leading by seven. Here's Thompson, and there are the Warriors now with another bucket. We all know Clay can hit this. His accuracy from the mid-range is a reliable option, to say the least. Butler. Wiggins with some nice D. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. Curry looking around. Curry setting the pick for Wiggins. Sinks the triple. And it's a 12-point Warrior lead. First three of the half. Second of the game. Can he beat up? Rozier kicks to Robinson. Down low. Here's Butler. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. And he's been much more assertive here in the second half. Getting to his spots, executing with ease. Now Curry. Higgins outside. Thompson a screen on Rogier. It's Curry outside. Rebound by Butler. You know what? He's got to look to get other guys involved. The three-point stroke is off. And they recover it. Rogier for three. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. Warriors leading by seven. Pass to Green. He dishes it to Thompson. Takes the three. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got six assists now in the game. Robinson against Thompson. Here's Rozier. And another basket for Miami. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Man, this has been a fun one. But look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Now here's Green. Sends it back. And a menace defensively out of bounds with the SWAT. He, he's an all-defensive team member for a reason. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Now a timeout called by Golden State. send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey guys, well Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out. He demanded something of his guys. He said, I'm not satisfied yet, are you? You've worked hard but we need to keep piling it on. Don't give them any hope. Guys? Thank you, David. And here is Rogier. Adebayo with a screen on Kerr. It's good to see Rozier improving as a playmaker. Passes like this help make his guys better player. Thompson against Robinson. Let's the three fly. Good! Another from three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable. And the Heat call time here. For Miami. Miami Heat, the Heat trail by twelve. Adebayo passes to Martin. Adebayo with a screen for Martin. It's stolen by Green. Thompson left side for the three. It's Adebayo with the rebound. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Butler with the ball. The kick out to Rogier. Buries the 20-footer. 
Rozier's got seven now in this quarter. And this team relies on Rozier's decision making and, and using the pick there to create a shot for himself. Now here's Thompson. And Cream swings it in. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Offensive rebounding is about hustle and determination. Huge putback, making a statement there. Bangs home the trifecta. Martin's got it back down to a single digit deficit for Miami. Here's Thompson. The pass to Kaminga. Now here's Green. Pass to Wiggins. Thompson, a screen on Buck. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. So Rozier will bring it up for Miami. Butler against Wiggins. Shots good from Butler. Butler's got 12 points in just the second half. Whatever adjustments were made in half, boy, they are working. He's looking like a different player since the break. Now Kerr. Thompson outside. Fires from deep. And again for three. Another three to add to his tally. He continues to prove he's one of the greatest shooters ever. And that triple just tied him for fifth place on the career list. Yep, he's up to 2,450. Even with Kyle Korver, still he's got a lot of work to do if he ever wants to overtake Steph, who's in first. Here's Green after Terry Rozier's basket. Green finds Thompson. Good! Another from three. And he's one of the greatest from distance in NBA history. And with that three, he's now fifth on the career list. And this is the most modern of the major top five lists, right? All of the members played in the 2000s, showing you how the game has evolved. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Autobio. Outside Curry. Out to Thompson. Let's it go with the three. Connects again from distance. And what a fireworks display he's shown us tonight. Just keeps knocking him down from deep. Craig, he has just exploded from beyond the arc. That last make tying him for second in most threes in a game. And it's a four-way tie now. Himself, Curry, Zach Levine, and Dane Lillard. A shot by Curry, no good. The Heat trail by 12. And here is Butler. Pass to Rozier. Adebayo with a screen for Rozier. And again, Miami with the triple. And over the course of his career, Rozier has really improved his three-point number. That, that off-season work on the jumper has paid off big time. Now, here's Curry. Thompson outside. Takes a three. And again for three. There it is. A shot that puts him at the top of the record book. Well, Greg is now tied for the mark for most threes in a single game. In one word, amazing. In all those great shooting performances from Clay Thompson, well, this night belongs right there with him. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. It's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. Now, here's Thompson. Wiggins kicks to Curry. Wiggins drawn the double team. Pass to Thompson. This one for three. Offensive rebound. Green. And Green slams it in. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. All oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. You know why? Because they are so hard to come by. Never shy about shooting the rock. We've seen Rozier go off in the playoffs before. He loves the limelight. Curry with it. So we see the Warriors get the win here.
They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Draymond, one of the cliches of basketball is that the ball finds energy. When teammates are making shots, does that give you more energy? Oh, uh, yeah, it does. You know, when we're in the flow, the ball is just moving around. It allows me to play make, and you know, then I just try to find an open gap and take the shots where they are. Man, it was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Much appreciated, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast.